Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so you are amazing and you don't need nothing to make you that because you are already. And, you know, what? I've been thinking about this for a little while, that so much in our society and in our environment and wherever we live in this world, so much is kind of almost pushed upon us that we must look a certain way, we must kind of dress a certain way, or we should wear our hair a certain way as men, or women should dress a certain way, should have a certain figure. Um, and, you know, it's been playing on my mind a lot recently since I heard my niece, my 10 year old niece, say something, it wasn't negative, but for her to start to have those thoughts of appearance, it really made me think, wow. This is the world which my niece and nephew and my and my younger niece is going to be growing up in and my children one day are going to be growing up in. And it's probably set to only get worse because, of course, people are so fixated on, and I'm guilty of that, so fixated of having to look and to be able to sort of feel comfortable in a certain way because of how they dress or how they've done their hair. Or for women, for example, how they they dress or a certain sort of weight or or how they look. Men and women have those problems. And you know what? I am going to call it a problem because I think, sadly, in 2022, I think it's actually gone too far when you start to hear young young children say those types of comments. And you know what? I've been thinking about this since I heard my niece say that. And you know, I'm very, very quick to jump on that. And Sometimes whether or not she necessarily understands or if it's something she's heard from school, because, of course, school is a huge, of course, it's a learning environment, but it's also a learning environment for sometimes unhealthy traits as well, because, of course, you've got a whole collection of personalities coming together from different households, different families, different backgrounds. And then it comes together at school. I remember it myself from being at school. And you say certain things and your parents look at you or your aunt, or your uncle, or your nan or your grandfather looks at you. Where enough did that come from? And you know what is happening to me? Even though I haven't got children at the moment, I feel that sort of that trait of parenthood there. So I absolutely do want children in the future. And that's going to be something which I'm so looking forward to in years to come. But when I heard this, I really did think to myself, wow. And you know what? That's why I'm doing this, because I like to try and capture things. I use my channel as almost like a like a virtual sort of portal, diary, whatever, what's in my mind, what's going on, whether it's good, bad, stresses me, fears, worries, positive achievements, happiness, sadness. I like to talk about it because you never know the comments you're going to get. And you know what? I have helped people and, help, and people have helped me on my channel too. But you know what? You are amazing. You don't need anything to make you that. You are it already. And you know what? That is because I think there is an element of that natural sort of amazing in people. People are amazing. And you know what, if I was to ever walk down the street and see somebody calling somebody out for being larger build or gay or lesbian or a disability or something different, I was sadly um, on the end of actually some really horrible sort of, um, I don't know how to describe it, but just horrible, not nice experience, to be quite honest with you. I was recently in the supermarket and at the moment I'm having some health problems with my groin. I've had a, re a groin reconstruction surgery last year and I've and I've ruptured one of the muscles part of that. So I'm, I'm having a bit of a limp at the moment. And I was out with my mum and my eldest brother and we were doing some grocery shopping and um, two people took note and decided to take it upon themselves to make me feel very, very uncomfortable and started to laugh. And at first, I thought it was something else, but no, it was very, very clearly at the way I was walking. And I think to myself, do you know what? For a moment, I froze and I went into kind of shock horror mode and I was really, really embarrassed. And now I look back on it and I think, do you know what? Pity them. Sad for them, really. And do you know what? If I was ever to be able to see them again, I do forgive them because I think actually, in a way, it's the downfall actually of society and the downfall of kind of what we feel is OK. So often in society, I think we feel it's OK to pass judgment, to laugh, joke, when actually often that's at someone's expense. And you know what? I've experienced that. I've experienced it before, the way I talk, the way I present myself. I remember um, people, by the way, people are very, very quick to judge if you're a young man and and you dress well and you speak correctly and you were brought up to pronounce every single syllable in the word and you are educated and you think that you've done really well in life. People are quick to call you gay, believe it or not. Um, and there is nothing wrong with somebody being gay or a lesbian at all. But when somebody is 
literally making your life miserable because they are calling you this often and they are trying to sort of make you look silly and stupid in front of people just to bid them own themselves up it really does turn into a very sad situation i've experienced that do you know i've experienced that and do you know what i find that horrendous because no matter who somebody is no matter what somebody does or says sometimes you just cannot that effect of whatever age that is sometimes you just can't you can't throw that off do you know what and I absolutely hate it. And how many people have witnessed that? Somebody who is of a larger build and somebody's quick to judge. Somebody is quick to perpetrate them. Somebody is quick to say something. Here's something for you. I find it equally as rude as when I've gone into an environment or I've gone somewhere and somebody's pointed out how thin I am. I've had eating problems. I've had problems with my diet before. I've had problems with not eating enough. I lose weight incredibly quickly. And of course, that affects your skin. That affects your hair. Somebody being slightly of a larger build, number one, it's got none of no one else's damn business. And number two, it's their issue, not ours. Don't even need to talk about it. Don't even need to acknowledge it. They are amazing. They are beautiful because they are them. God created us and put us on this world not to be judged, but to love one another and to look after one another and to help somebody up when they are down. So if I was ever walking past somebody and, like I say, whether they were big, small, thin, whatever, what have you, disability, gay, straight, Goodness knows what, and it's 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 not affecting anybody. To them, they are them, and for that, they are amazing, and they don't need anything to make them amazing. Very often, I do reviews on my channel for different hair products. I have a passion for hair care, styling, and having well groomed hair. Um, Men's hair can often be reamed as being boring, to be quite honest with you. Short back and sides, flicky short style on top. And if you want something different outside of that kind of box, is to speak, in this life, your class is being strange, odd, and actually weird, to be quite honest with you. And I think that's really, really sad. When does it get to a point where enough is enough? Isn't it interesting when you actually think that actually those type of views, sadly, they never get old fashioned. They never go. They're always there. You turn the TV on, you turn the news on, there's hate crime around these type of things as well. It's horrific. So my point to this clip is actually saying that if one person can actually stop and think and actually say, do you know what? No, I was going to say something, but I'm not. You don't know what that person is going through either. So you don't know what effect you could have on that person. It's just as easy to be nice. It's just as easy to pay somebody a compliment. You are amazing and you don't need a hair product, a hair straightener, a new goodness knows what other item of clothing you were going to buy, a procedure, a diet, whatever. You don't need to do it. You don't need to change who you are. You are amazing. And you don't need nothing in this world to tell you otherwise. So from me to you, my very best wishes. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real then. If you want to ask me a question, by the way, please leave me a question down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. My love and very best wishes to you. Okay, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye now.